Mr. Speaker, the Innovation Minister claims to have gone, done a review of the sell-off of seniors' care facilities in BC, but it is not capable of telling Canadians who owns OnBing Insurance. Not even Wall Street firms would do business with OnBing because of the murky ownership structure dominated by the who's who of the Chinese Communist Party. In the Minister's pandering to Beijing, Canadians deserve to know who is pulling the strings and deciding the fate of our seniors. The question is simple. Who owns OnBing Insurance? Here, here. The Honourable Minister of Innovation. Mr. Speaker, our approach has been very straightforward. Our approach is about the economy and about the jobs. We care about our economy because we know that's the number one priority Canadians have expressed to us. And part of that challenge is making sure that we, bring attra we attract investments to Canada. We believe in global investment. We believe in the opportunity that it presents to our businesses. And any decision under the Investment Canada Act is taken very seriously. We do our due diligence. We do our homework. We make sure we follow the process. And under the Investment Canada Act, this particular particular transaction was in the overall net economic benefit. That is why we approved the project. Member for Elgin, Middlesex, London. Monsieur le Président, le Premier ministre refuse de répondre aux questions sur prompt manquement à l'article. Le ministre Landerchi a été obligé d'admettre qu'elle enduit en eux le Canadien en souci des jeunes à qui l'on vend des établissements de 100 aux années. Le Canadien ne vole pas de manger et d'un manque absolu de transparence. Quand le Premier ministre va-t-il commencer à jouer comme un chef et montrer l'ordre? Très bien. Oh. Mr. Speaker, this Prime Minister and this government has shown leadership when it comes to the economy. We understand that every decision that we make must focus on growth and jobs. We need to attract global investment if we are able to succeed globally and if we are able to create the opportunities for Canadians, for women in particular, and for the youth going forward. That is why we're open to investment. And with regard to this particular transaction, we followed the process. We made sure that the retirement concept deal that was put forward was, is done in a manner that's in the overall net economic benefit for British Columbians and for Canadians. It's good for the economy and it's good for jobs.